by saying there are actually two global pandemics. The first is coronavirus, the second is fake news and misinformation. A lot of fact, fake news is making the fight against coronavirus much more difficult. And that is why I appreciate the observations of the honorable members who spoke first about fake news and what the PTO and the Ministry of Information uh, what we are doing about this uh, second wave of pandemic. Let me start by saying there's actually no lack of awareness on the part of Nigerians about COVID-19. This has been attested to by the NOI poll, which shows show that 99% of Nigerians are aware of the pandemic. Also realize that awareness must be translated to action. Hence, we are launching a series of video jingles and TVCs in this regard. This in addition to those TVCs and jingles that are currently played on our televisions and radio stations. The jingles and TVCs well on general information on disease like social distancing, personal hygiene, avoiding mass gatherings, wearing of face masks, avoiding stigmatization, and guidelines on the barrier of those who have died from the disease or other diseases. Some of these jingles and TVCs are already running. More and more will come on screen in the days ahead. We are doing this because we believe that in the absence of any vaccine or drugs for the treatment of COVID-19, the only option right now is what we call the non pharmaceutical intervention, NPI which is anchored on the use of advocacy and public enlightenment to empower the citizens to protect themselves. The various agencies under the Ministry of Information and Culture have also told the same path. The National Orientation Agency, for instance, has engaged in social mobilization advocacy and public enlightenment. We have also leveraged on Radio Nigeria and the NTA for their campaign because of the lack of uh, you know, uh, the most needed resources. So they have also partnered with a lot of NGOs to <coughs> run their campaigns. The NTA and the FRCN have also used their resources to push the advocacy and sensitization campaign, making many jingles and TVCs to educate and enlighten Nigerians on the disease. In addition, they have devoted a long belt to COVID-19 news, leaving them with little or no time for any advertisement. Small fact, the NTE has had to we take its daily schedule to be able to accommodate the new segment to deal with the COVID-19. The Minister Agency of Nigeria has also done so using its SMS platforms to disseminate COVID-19 advocacy and enlightenment campaign. The agency has also made enlightenment videos which have been widely circulated on social media and WhatsApp. It is important to know that 
these are state agencies as daily changing the the uh, the 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 Uh, we've also asked the regulatory agency, National Broadcasting Cons uh, Commission, to encourage other stations to partner with the uh, PTF in ensuring that uh, our enlightenment and advocacy campaigns are carried on other stations which are not just government owned. Uh, and I want to take the opportunity also to thank the Broadcasting Commission of Nigeria, who have all devoted a lot of their time to our daily briefing and many of whom actually carry our daily briefing free of charge. Uh, though an external broadcasting uh, station, the Voice of Nigeria is also leveraging heavily on the social media to support the advocacy and sedition campaign. Of course, because we noticed that the, some of the stations also have engaged on the papers and misinformation the NBC, which is the beautiful agency, has sent out strong warnings to these agencies. I must say that um, this campaign is not just about, you know, journals, advocacies, or, 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 or TVC campaign. It's also about heavy, you know, heavy social mobilization. And this is where the NOA has been working in conjunction with the traditional rulers, with the faith organizations, and with the major stakeholders along the line up to the local government you know, level to ensure that uh, the COVID-19 campaign are understood by the major stakeholders. The truth of the matter is that in certain areas, uh, you, you need the buy-in of the faith leaders, we need the buy-in of the um, uh, uh, of the traditional uh, you know, leaders. Otherwise, your campaign will not be successful. We continue in this line to ensure that uh, the campaign against uh, COVID-19, you know, succeeds. Yes, and if you was raised about barrier, we've noticed that in certain areas, uh, the The, the, the barrier uh, 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 guidelines, especially as it uh, affects uh, social, uh, social distancing, is not being uh, obeyed. And that is why our new TVCs and jingles actually is along the area of you know, uh, social gathering, uh, funerals, barriers, and their stigmatization. We will continue. Uh, for as long as there's no vaccine, there's no medicine for COVID-19, we'll continue to ramp up our campaign in the area of COVID-19 to ensure that uh, the country is safe and able to contain COVID-19. Thank you very much.